Wow. It's a bit of a shame, but I recorded this video, but unfortunately my audio was completely destroyed. So I'm very sad right now. I recorded in, in eight minutes. Let's try to be faster so we can focus on the message of the video, okay? <laughs> so if you didn't watch my last video, it was about Fast API and Pydentic AI, watch it. It's here on the screen, you see, somewhere. Uh, yeah, it's just me exploring Pydentic AI. So like, if you like that, or if you want to know more about it, please check it out. For today, we're gonna talk about open uh, source, <laughs> open source, how I start with open source and how you can start as well. Uh, most of my people that are watching this, I guess, are from Python background. So uh, that's going to be my, like, I'm going to mention some projects and uh, those are Python projects. But this, this video works for everybody that wants to start with open source. So Let's go. This is, I'm just going to go to Fast API. That's where I started. And uh, back then, four years ago, four years, almost five years ago, I started an open source with Fast API, but I started helping on GitHub issues. So every morning I was waking up and checking my GitHub app. Uh, I saw issues and I clicked and I always tried to answer them. And then I always learned about uh, a lot of stuff because I didn't know what the question was or like the issue was about. And then I had to research about the issue to then uh, find the answer. It was a lot of uh, Googling better than the, than the OP. But then at some point I just, uh, I just, most of the issues, like they were same content and similar content and then uh, at some point I had to move, uh, to youth corn as well. Well, that's not exactly true. I had to, it's a bit strong, but I wanted something different. I want to explore something different, but, uh, yeah, on Fast API, it was mainly with, uh, GitHub issues. So I just came here and then I started answering GitHub issues. And then that was my routine. I don't have many pull requests. Uh, if you look at this, I only have. Uh, that's not much for fi almost five years, uh, four years and a half. But if you check my first pull request, it was just really adding a link. <laughs> it has so many images. It was adding a link to the docs. It was not much. It was a blog post, uh, sorry, a medium post with a nice images. So I just like it. And then I shared with the, the third party external links, uh, parts of the docs in Fast API. And then, well, as I said, I went to Youthcorn. And then on Youthcorn, I created an issue. And that's what really helped me to, to start doing open source, which was just adding type hints. I started adding type hints in 2021. So if you check my issue when it was created, it was like this, a list of files and the pull request. And there was also if it was merged or not. Uh, and then I start editing the, the issue and then adding, uh, the merged column, adding more pull requests. And that was my, my routine for some time. And then at some point I finished all the, the files. It took a while. Eh? It took uh, almost a year to get it reviewed, to do everything right. Uh, but I think it paid off. Uh, I became at some point the kind of solo maintainer, pretty much. Uh, Tom doesn't help, uh, in, in the project for some time right now. So this is the commits for the last two years. And I'm pretty much the, the, the only one, uh, besides some, some commits from other people. So it paid off. I've, I've become part of the encoder organization. After youth corn, I went to help on Starlet as well. And then, I mean, I became also a maintainer of, of Starlet. I mean, you became part of the organization, so it kind of automatically becomes a maintainer of everything here. But at some point, I really got into this position of uh, where, uh, I mean, what kind of lead position. So if you see the commits for the last uh, two years, you can also see that I, I am the, the one that, that are, has helped the, the most here. And... 
Well, but again, you see, the first reason, like how I started was too easy in the sense that I didn't do much uh, in terms of I didn't need to do. Like I was not super smart on this whole situation. I just started on fast API and so GitHub issues and on UFC I created my own issue and worked on it. I did the same I create the same issue on salary. So if you want if you want, if you are, if you are a Python developer, you can uh help here. I think they're gonna appreciate this what you're working in. I create the same issue with a lot of files, but I didn't work on many of them. But people are interested in this. If you want, this is the issue, uh, 7394 from salary. I've also did the same with com, combi, I think, com, com, com something. Combo, combo, which is one of the dependencies. I did the same there. Uh, see? You can help here. You can start helping here, maybe. There is a lot of hearts and thumbs up. So people do appreciate type hints nowadays. And lately I've been helping open telemetry contrib Python. Uh, it's also a library, uh, designed in Python specifically that doesn't have many modules type hinted. So that's also a good project to, to help. Uh, I've been starting to help here mainly because I work on Logfire and we have a lot of integrations. So it's really helpful to me if, uh, open telemetry is well typed so I can, uh, I mean, it just makes my workflow easier with the, well, with the type checker that I have and then all the uh, auto completion. So yeah, this was, uh, what I wanted to share here. Just how I started with open source and how you can actually follow the same path. Not all people follow this path. There are very different paths. Uh, but yeah, I mean, let me know what you think about this path. Uh, let me know if you want to help somehow. There are also issues on Starlet if you want. If you can, if you go to Starlet, you can see some good first issues. You can check the label good first issue and then you can find something that, uh, you can help. And yeah, I mean, just let me know what you think about this video. Next videos are going to be about, uh, fast API and, uh, how to create a project and all that, like step by step. I'm gonna kinda create a course. I'm gonna do a playlist of videos about Fast API. Uh, people have been asking that. Uh, so I'm gonna try that. Okay, thank you. See you.